I went to Salta, a land of the red valleys embracing the Andes. I met people in nature and the Cafayate Canyon that was shaped throughout time. Now I'm off to the flower of South America, Buenos Aires. The image of Argentina at its beginning in the street of artists. The cowboys of the plains, the gaucho. And the melody of the tango that fills the city's nights. This is the city where passion blooms, Buenos Aires. A country halfway across the earth from Korea is over 30 hours away by plane. Argentina is the eighth largest country in the world and the second largest country in South America. The place I'm going to visit today is the city nicknamed the flower of South America, Buenos Aires. Buenos Aires is the last city I'll visit on my journey to Argentina. My first impression of Buenos Aires is very different from what I imagined it would be. The European architecture and the chic people reminded me of Paris, France. This place does not feel like South America. It feels like a capital in a European country. This beautiful stone building was built in the 19th century. It is the National Congress Palace. The red color of the presidential palace leaves a deep impression. It feels as if I've traveled back in time to Europe. However, these are not the only types of buildings you see in Buenos Aires. There are traces of the original immigrants in La Boca. As opposed to the preconception of being a poor city, the streets are colorful and pretty. Italia the immigrants who came here from Europe to avoid poverty colored their houses different colors in order to recognize which one was theirs. This street is also known for sports and the arts as well. This is the hometown of the Boca Juniors, the soccer club which Maradona played for. But there's a person who looks exactly like Maradona sitting under his picture. He blocks the camera as soon as he sees us. <laughs> 
La Boca is also a stage for poor artists. Uh, it's your work. Yes, yeah. my creation. Yeah, my yeah, idea. right. Yeah. For many years, this artist created drawings with the tango as a central theme. La Boca is the birthplace of the tango. He asks for my name and begins to draw something. As an illustrator myself, I was surprised by his work. This artist has drawn using tango as his theme for decades. With much respect, I asked him to draw me a picture. Rough but lively works of art. The artists of Laboka share the same image with the street. Buenos Aires is a city that is most beautiful at night. The night is filled with tango. Tonight, I plan on enjoying my time in a historic tango cafe. The antique tables and chandeliers tell the history of this old cafe. Cafe Tortoni opened its doors in 1858. It has been open for over 150 years. The tango is known as the world's saddest and most sophisticated dance. It was originally a dance performed by laborers. A dance performed while embracing one another in order to forget the sadness of leaving one's home country. That is the tango. They feel and show through that performance and De ahí eh, que marcó su estilo y su tradición como el mate en la Argentina. Eh, espectacular, muy bueno. The emotion of sadness slowly soaks in. There is sorrow in the tango. Buenos Aires está Imenjai Tushi. Sumano Namjadi, 
어떻게든 여자를 만나기 위한 남자들의 몸부림이 예술로 소화돼서 만들어진 것이 탱고거든요. 근데 그 어떤 결핍이 승화가 되니까 그게 더 간절하고 더 강렬하고 더 직접적으로 와닿는 느낌이 드는 거죠. For the people who live here, tango is their music, literature, life, and their sadness. The night flows as the sad melody of the bandonian flows through the bodies of the dancers. After watching the tango here in this cafe, I can understand a little better. The next day, I head for Capilla del Señor, about an hour and a half drive away from Buenos Aires. Cool green meadows can be seen even just a little bit outside of the city. In Argentina, they call these vast plains pampas. The land is vast, so most people raise their livestock in the open field. The people who look after cows or horses are called gauchos, the Argentinian cowboys. This is a ranch run by gauchos. A peacock welcomes me at the ranch's entrance. It shows off a fancy pattern just like the birds I saw at the Iguazu. <laughs> My anticipation for today's journey increases after I meet the peacock. <laughs> This ranch raises horses and also gives tourists a first-hand experience of what life was like for the first immigrants who settled here. The program I'll be participating in today is horseback riding with the gauchos. I've never seen this many horses all at once. You're prepared for this? Preparing. Uh, preparing. See. <laughs> this is the horse I'll be riding. I don't have much experience with horseback riding. So I'm a little scared and nervous. <laughs> if I could, I would run wild across the field. But I'm only a beginner, so I make do with an easy walk. Now, it's time to watch how the gauchos handle the horses. Gauchos are the cowboys of Argentina. Because they've spent a long time with the horses, their skills are almost acrobatic. Although the gauchos are the shepherds of the vast plains, they were also brave warriors during the revolutionary war against Spain.
This is where their pride began. The gaucho culture is not merely a shepherd's culture, but it is also the strength that built Argentina. Now there are more gauchos working to serve tourists. The people running this farm are descendants of gauchos. Their fathers and grandfathers were the gauchos of the olden days. I want to personally meet the gaucho descendants. Hermano! <laughs> Thank you for showing us a nice show. Yeah, it's great. Uh, it's a great time to see you. Uh, I'd like to know the, the charming. Of gaucho. La vida de gaucho en realidad es, es sacrificada en el campo, la vida... No, lo mismo, viste, que sacrificado, pero a la vez es linda. ¿eh? Y en el campo hay que amasar los caballos, domarlos, amasarlos. Para ahí se tiene que enseñar para el carro, para tirar los carros, viste. Para los turistas que tienen ese bien manso. Sí, sí, es linda la vida de campo. Sacrificada, pero linda. I was getting hungry after the horseback ride. There's a delicious smell coming from somewhere. This is the kitchen, and it's filled with smoke from a charcoal fire. I follow Enrique inside. Along the wall of the kitchen, there is a charcoal grill. Argentina is famous for its delicious beef. It's from a cow that grazed in the organic pastures, and it's also because it's cooked over charcoal this way. This is a world-famous traditional Argentinian dish called asado. There are master chefs who are good at cooking asado. This chef controls the heat and the cooking time. A masterpiece. It looks burnt on the outside, but the inside is perfect. They say it takes half a day to just cook lunch for the tourists. The aroma of the meat fills the farm. Everyone seems to have been waiting for this moment. Like the vast fields the gauchos lived on, the scale of the cafeteria is huge. Asado cooked over the charcoal grill. On the menu today is beefsteak and sausages. I 
I choose the appetizing beefsteak. The thick cut meat seems much bigger than what I would eat in Korea. After taking a bite, I realize why Argentinian beef is so famous. You can't leave out music and dance in a place where there is tasty meat and wine. There is a traditional Argentinian performance as guests enjoy their meals. What's this? It's Korean traditional music, Arirang. The cheers and applause for a traveler from far away. I'm not a good singer, but I feel it was worthwhile to run up on stage with confidence. The gauchos possess the strength that built today's Argentina. The lives of the gauchos still remain here. After spending the day cheerfully, I head back to Buenos Aires. Tomorrow is the last day of my journey in Argentina. I wanted to stay one more day at the ranch, but the reason why I returned to Buenos Aires in a hurry is because today is Sunday. The biggest flea market in Argentina opens every Sunday. It's called the San Telmo Market. The most fun thing to do is walking around in a market. As soon as I enter, this strange instrument catches my eyes and ears. <laughs> this man is a musician. He also sells wooden saxophones that he hand carved himself. What is this? It's the bamboo sax. Bamboo and mate, calabaza. Mm -hmm. Despite its loose shape, the sound is pretty nice. The San Telmo market appears in every tourist book introducing Argentina. True to its name of being a flea market, there are all kinds of items sold here. There are also many artistic items. Yeah. 
His performance skill is very impressive to call him a street performer. The street is always filled with dance and music. It's a city I've dreamt of. The street of San Telmo and the page in my notebook becomes filled with a beautiful tango melody. This is a place where the past and present collide. The citizens and tourists mingle and where dance and music fills the air. The San Telmo market is this kind of place. If the San Telmo market shows this city's liveliness, there is another place that represents the culture of Buenos Aires. This is El Ateneo Bookstore. How did this bookstore become a landmark of Buenos Aires? The moment I enter, the fancy and dazzling interior welcomes its guests. A remodeled opera house, this bookstore has been chosen as one of the most beautiful bookstores in the world. The space is too beautiful to call it a bookstore. Buenos Aires is a big store, but this store is unique. It was a place to use a book. El Ateneo, which seated about 1,000 people, still maintains its glamorous splendor. The ceiling, balcony, and the stage was left untouched while it was being renovated into a bookstore, allowing the citizens to get lost in old memories. There are 700,000 books here. Over 7,000 guests visit the bookstore every day. Even though I don't know Spanish, there is a book I've always wanted to buy if I came to Argentina. It's a book written by Borges. 제가 찾던 작품이에요. 브로에스 작품이거든요. 이거는 이제 아르헨티나의 어떤 고전이죠. 그 아르헨티나 문학 하면 또 브로에스라는 분을 빼놓을 수가 없죠. 현실적이면서 환상적인 터치가 섞여 있는 그런 작품을 많이 하셨거든요. 유럽적인 정서와 또 아르헨티나가 품고 있는 어떤 자연적인 환경. 그 다음에 또 여기가 좀 약간 이민자의 땅 같은 느낌 이런 정서가 섞여서 아마 이런 세계적인 또 특별한 작품이 나오지 않나 이런 생각이 듭니다. Perhaps this is the way to combine many things, yet not lose one's distinctive sense of self. Just before the night comes, the melody of the tango can be heard from the streets again. It 
If tango cafes are the stages for famous tango dancers, the street is the stage for citizens who enjoy tango. It's not a dance performed to show, but to enjoy oneself. The man leads the tango, and the woman follows his lead. You have to read each other's thoughts through the body. It's like a conversation between the bodies. In the film Scent of a Woman, Al Pacino had a line that said, It's simple. If you make a mistake and you get tangled up, just tango on. So don't be afraid and do what your heart tells you. Perhaps traveling and even life is like the tango. The Argentina I met during my 20 days came as a shock in the beginning, but after, it left an impression on me. The people live in the present and are not tied down by anything. Argentina is where people, wider than the waterfall, purer than the glaciers, and more beautiful than Mother Nature lives.